Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. So today we're going to be reacting with who? That gig boy. Julius. Guys, we're going to be reacting to a unique video, guys. This will be actually a Muslim video. The difference between the Bible and the Quran. I won't give you our honest review on this, guys. Like honest review. This will be by Ahmed Dadet. Guys, let's get straight into this. Sharp. Ah. Guys, let's start this over again. Yesterday you proved that the Bible was not the word of God. How could you now quote the Bible to predict the coming of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Please explain. Yesterday was a debate. A format had been laid out. Originally, it was 50 minutes, 60 minutes, and 10. Both sides had 60-60. But the format was, whoever speaks first has 10 minutes at the end. Because every advantage has a disadvantage. So both speakers speak 60 minutes each. Now, with that format, you have no time to explain each and every position. So what is the Bible? So what do we consider the Bible to be? As a whole, per se, we say this is not the book of God. And I proved it. According to all reasoning, according to the book itself, the internal evidence that Moses didn't write the books attributed to him, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John didn't write the books attributed to them, not only is it not the book of God, but it's not even the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. You're talking about 24,000 manuscripts. I challenge you, there's no two are identical. So you've got 24,000 different Gospels. Which one? You just pick to pick that suited you, you accepted it. Hmm. Who authorized you? Council of Nisi. They said, we take this, we take that, we take that. All the gospels that are now accepted were not accepted at one time. It's now pick and choose what suits you, you accept it. That's what you have done. And you say now it's the word of God. But now the word of God is in it, in the book. The word of God is in the book. The word of the prophet is in the book. The word of the historian is in the book. And pornography is in the book. <laughs> now, I have to explain all that to you. Porn, porn. I said, you see, hmm. I'll give you examples about the word of God. I really need this example. Like, like, I want it. In the book of Deuteronomy. You see the verse I quoted hmm. in Arabic? The same thing is in the Bible. Almost an identical idea is there. It reads, I will raise them up a prophet. I will raise them up a prophet from among the brethren like unto thee. And I will put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. So who is this I? God. Correct. To Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, that I will raise them up a prophet from among the brethren. From among the Bani Ismail. Bani Israel are being addressed, is that from among your brethren, like unto thee, like you, like Musa. And he will, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command. So he says, this I is God. You don't have to be a theologian, or a DD, or an evangelist. Anybody will tell you on the plain reading of it, that these are not the words of Moses, these are the words of God. Another quotation from the book of Isaiah, as if God is speaking, and God is speaking. He said, remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me. Who's that? Isaiah? No. No Jew says that Isaiah claimed divinity. They would have killed him if he did. No, he's speaking on behalf of God. God is speaking through him like a mouthpiece. Yes. This is the job of a prophet of God. He is a mouthpiece of God. He hears the words of God and he conveys them to you. So, I, I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is no savior besides me. Who? God. God is talking. This is the word of God. You don't have to be a professor of theology to see that. There is another type of evidence in the Bible. See, now, if it was a lecture, I would have been, done all this last night, but this is a debate. So whatever the man is throwing at you, you can't start grappling with everything. The caravan is moving and the dogs start barking. You don't start the caravan moving back to chase the dogs. You've got to move on. You've got to do your job and get, get on with it and finish your job. There was no occasion for explaining all these things to you. You see? 
Then there is the word of the prophet of God. Example, Jesus says, it has been said by them of old time, thou shalt not commit adultery, but I say unto you, that whosoever looketh upon a woman to lust after her, had committed adultery with her already in his heart. Who is this? I, Jesus. Jesus is talking, the word of a prophet of God. Again, Jesus says, it has been said by them of old time, that whosoever puts away his wife, let him give her a bill of divorcement. But I say unto you, who is this? I, Jesus. Words of a prophet of God. Again, Jesus says, it has been said by them of old time, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, who is this? I, Jesus. The words of a prophet of God. Then there is another type of evidence in the Bible. First was, as if God speaking. Second was, as if a prophet was speaking. Third, what does the historian how does he speak? He says, in the Gospel of St. Mark, so while he, talking about Jesus, in bracket I put Jesus, while he was going forth into the way, he, Jesus, saw a fig tree in the distance with leaves. Happily, he came up to it, wanting to find figs thereon. But when he, Jesus, came, there was nothing but leaves, for the season was not yet. Who's writing? An eyewitness or a ear witness, not God and not Jesus. So see, another type of evidence. Word of God, word of the prophet, word of the historian. And there was that other type of thing I was suggesting, and I lost $100. You remember, if you were there, I lost $100. I wanted Brother Swaggart, you know, to read a certain chapter from the book, from the Bible. And he ignored it at first. Maybe he had no time. And somebody from the audience prodded him again. He says, you know, look, what about that chapter Ezekiel? And there was $100 also involved, so he read it. But he read it at 60, 60 miles an hour. <laughs> so one of your university students, while I'm sitting there, he comes to me. He said, look, he read, but uh, I didn't know. Uh, so what was the joke? I said, look, one thing is, you are at a disadvantage. You are an Arab from Arab country. You don't know English too well, number one. Number two, that the English that he was using were, was archaic, old-fashioned, from the King James Version. You see, we had given him that pamphlet, which was in, from the new international version, modern language, where you call a spade a spade. But he was reading from that archaic Bible. I can't blame him for that, because he uses that. King James, he read it. And you don't know English too well. That's also a disadvantage. And he was reading at that speed I told you just now. So these are all the facts. I said, look, what you do, you go and read it, you know, in that pamphlet and you see what he was reading. So he read it. You know, bulk of the people, I'm sure, they didn't catch the joke. You know, the speed, his pronunciation. He was not as emphatic when he quotes other biblical verses. You know, he makes every word and phrase to go down your throat or down your ears. But here was something different, 60 miles an hour. So, so <laughs> There is that type of thing, which I said, no decent man can read it to his mother, sister, daughter, or even his fiancée if she's a good woman. Now, what you have to do is you have to go and read it yourself to know what was read. You didn't catch the joke. It's no fault of mine. You see, you don't understand English too well, and then, you know, the speed, and the archaic language, all these things were factors where you don't catch the joke. But if you catch the joke, then, you know, something that no decent man can read in his church or to his family, right? So this is it. There's another type of evidence. So we have the word of God in the Bible. There is the word of the prophet in the Bible. There's the word of the historian, an eyewitness or your witness in the Bible. And there is that other type, which we say pornography in the Bible. <laughs> now, we also have such a thing in Islam. We have the word of God in the Quran. Only Allah's kalam. He doesn't tell you stories. We know an incident in the life of the Prophet wasallam that a Christian deputation had come from Najran in Medina. These were Arab Christians. They had heard that another Arab, he is claiming that he's in communication with the Almighty. He's a prophet. So he said, let's go and cross-examine him. Let us go and see what he knows. So they came to Medina, and they were housed in the Masjid the Nabawi. They ate there, they slept there, and they had a dialogue there for three days and perhaps three nights. And when Sunday came, our Nabi Karim, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he offered the Masjid. 
to these Christians to offer their prayers. He was so broad-minded, not like us. See, some of us, we are, you know, we think our masjids are superior to the masjid that, never we, that our Nabi had. No doubt, in construction, yes. He allowed them, but gave them permission to make their prayers. So during the course of this discussion, the spokesman for the Christian poses the question, among so many other things. Say, so, all right, now tell us, O Muhammad, what is your concept of God? And our Nabi Kareem, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he doesn't fumble. You know, well, you see, it's like this and like that. No, he doesn't do that. He is the God of Abraham, Moses, and David, and Solomon, you know, who spoke to Abraham. No, he doesn't talk like that. See, when the question is posed, what is your concept of God? So the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi as if he was pressing his spiritual buttons, trying to contact Filawhim Mahfuz, the head computer. So, oh my Lord, what shall I say? Nobody heard that. There were no buttons to press. I said, as if, I hope you people understand that. Then when I go away, don't create a controversy. He said, Muhammad pressed buttons. You know, he had a computer. <laughs> I said, as if, <laughs> oh my Lord, what should I say? Comes the answer through him. Qul, say, who Allahu Ahad. He is Allah, the one and only. Allah, Samad, God, the eternal, absolute. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He does not beget and is not begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kufan ahad. And there's nothing I can do him. Full stop. And you see, this is our concept of God. Now you see, it's on a different level. He is made to say, Qul, say. He's asking, oh my Lord, what shall I say? Nobody heard him say that. But comes the answer, say. It doesn't fit into normal speech. They are asking, what is your concept of God? So you don't tell him, say. Somebody asks you, what is 12 times 12? What do you say? 144. Am I right? 6 times 6? 36. You don't say, say 36. Say 144. Do you say like that? No. <laughs> Why say? Because the words are being put through his mouth. From Fi Lawham Mahfuz, from the preserved tablet, from the head computer. See, he's in contact, he's got that machine. Spiritual buttons. He's communicating. What shall I say? He says, Say, who Allah Now, that I say. Look, all these things I told you is not in the Quran. In the Quran, you open Surah Ikhlas, chapter 112. You start. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Qul hu Allahu Ahad. Say is Allah the one and only. Allahu Samad. God the eternal absolute. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He does not beget and is not begotten. Wa lam yakullahu kufu wa ahad. And there's nothing like unto him. Full stop. That's all. Where he was. What was the occasion? What, how did it come about? Nothing. So only the word of God. Everything else were the details given to us later on. They said, look, this is what happened. People who were eyewitnesses, your witnesses, what's happening. What our Nabi said, what happened. All that put together is our knowledge. You find the other de details in the books of Hadith. Words of the Prophet, separate volume. Allah's Kalam, separate volume. Hadith, words of the Prophet, separate volume. History, Imam Ghazali, Ibn Rush, Ibn Taymiyyah. Great writers, great writers, separate books, separate books. And our Arabian Nights, also separate books. <laughs> yes? You know the Arabian Nights? You know, fairy tales, those filthy, dirty stories were circulating around the campfire. You know, the Arabs also had something to pass time with. <laughs> Pre-Islam, before Islam, Pre -Islam and even maybe after Islam. You know, under Harun al-Rashid, Mamun al-Rashid, we don't know how the empire developed. And they were wanting to pass time, you know, somehow, light-heartedness, <laughs> ah, jokes, filthy, dirty stories. You stole around the campfire, right? They're written now in books. Fitzgerald, he translated it, The Arabian Nights, the unexpurgated edition. I read it and I enjoyed it very much. It was a young boy. Oh, I loved it, you know. <laughs> the unexpurgated editions. But it's separate. It's not in the Quran. It's not in the works of the sayings of the prophet. It's not in the works of a historian. Separate book. So we have the words of God, word of the prophet, word of the historian, and pornography all in separate compartments. They have it all in one volume. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> you can't tell me the story. <laughs> You can't tell the story, but every everything that he said is fact. He proved it. 
Of course, yes. of course. But so if you are reading the, the Bible and you see the sentence, can't you see that this this was said by this based on the word of God? I don't get it. No, listen. You, you don't get it, Julius. Korean mm-hmm. it has been divided into four. We have the words. Korean. Uh, no, Quran, Quran, sorry. Yes. Mm-hmm. We have the words of the of God, of God words of the prophet, prophet, words of the historian, and the Allah. Arabian language. Not in the same mm-hmm. book. Not in the same book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So but the, but the Bible mm-hmm. is all in the same book and mm-hmm. it's it is considered as the word of God. That isn't the word of God. If history is history the word of God. Listen, listen. That's what I said. So if you're reading the Bible mm-hmm. and you see a sentence, can't you see that this was said by God? Listen. When he was talking, he said, I. He said, I means what? God. He said, you don't need to be a professor of theology to see that this was said by God. Mm-hmm. So now, what's his problem? So if you're reading the Bible and you see a, a sentence, you don't need to be a professor of theology to see that this, this was said by God. This is the word of God. Don't, don't you understand what I'm saying? We understand. understand. Mm-hmm. And, and your Bible is what? Holy. It's, it's, it's said what? Holy Bible. Mm-hmm. Holy Bible. Mm-hmm. It, it should be something about like God, straight, fully God. No, 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 no. It shouldn't be about. Listen, listen. The Bible. When you read the Bible, it is it's, it's telling you that it was written through man. So don't tell me when Jesus was sitting with his disciples and they were talking. Don't, don't, you cannot tell me that there was a secretary. Who was writing it? Who was yes. writing it? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, God said it to a man, true man, mm-hmm. and he, he wrote it down. Yes. So, and listen. Really? So, it, 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 it was a vision. Yes. Yes. Listen. yes. And listen. Yes. listen. So, all what uh, Jesus so, was going so wait, was so wait, so wait. No, it, so, wait. So, you vision. thought, like, today, Jesus was uh, uh, crucified. Yeah. Uh, We'll come in right today. He says so right? Listen, or something nah, like and, that. And okay, okay. So if Wait. it's a vision, the vision showed the person see, where Jesus was passing. You don't go to church. No, when Jesus no. went to the scene, ah, ah, the whole vision is that. Let me finish. And he, uh, he says, the book of Isaiah. Mm-hmm. He said, prophets are the mouthpiece of God. Mm-hmm. Have you yeah. seen? So. After the disciples, I say after the, the 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 generation of the disciples, then God, true man, read the Bible. Mm-hmm. Yes. Listen, God, true man, read the Bible. Mm-hmm. A man is the mouthpiece of what God. 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 Mm-hmm. So that the man is, is what the prophet. Yes. So if God, true man, read the Bible, which means it is the word of God. So that the man has put it down. If you believe, if you believe God talks true man, and we all, we all know that God talks true man, mm-hmm. why why do you need this? Uh, why do you need Bible to why why do you need the Bible? Listen, but that's why I, I said when Jesus was talking to his disciples, they didn't know that like oh it will come to pass. Not that it will oh. come to pass. There'll be a generation that will read our lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So at that time there was no secretary or there was nothing that they would have <laughs> it, should have right nah, nah, nah. happened. He said listen, he listen. said didn't know that um um what do you say? They, they didn't know that mm-hmm. there, there will be a, a, a later life that will learn like yeah. everything that happened. Is that what you are saying? Yes. God also said uh uh God said in I don't, I don't know but in some in the old testament. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the time he said they should fill the earth. Eh? They should mm-hmm. fill the earth. And Genesis or yeah, yeah. Genesis. Yeah. 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 And and yeah. when Jesus, came, are you trying to tell me that Jesus didn't know that there will be more life? That's why Jesus true wrote the Bible true man. So but from what you are saying, he said Jesus, the, Jesus time did you know that there will be a life? Listen, another listen. Life I said, Jesus. I said when Jesus was sitting with the disciples and talking. They didn't know that. They, they, let's they, say, who are they don't, don't include Jesus. Don't in, the disciples. So, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Have you, have you seen? They read the Bible through 
God wrote the Bible through them. Through them, and represents. And when God speaks to humanity through a man, that man is determined as a prophet, and prophet speaks the word of God. So mm-hmm. if if it is your life story, if, if even if it is your life story, but God said it through me, and I wrote it down, is the word of God. Yeah, you understand that. But I feel what he's trying to say though is that maybe because they have the way they did their book is that they separated it. What is what came from God is what they consider as the Quran. The, the word of God. So, I, I understand them. But listen, that's the perfect. That's the perfect but he, ah, he, he said, he's boy, no, so you, you don't, don't need to be a professor see, of theology. He's confused now. To see that, listen, listen. From what he said, man, mm-hmm. he. It's a mistake that he said. He didn't so, do any I feel, it's not I feel, mistake. I feel he he's trying to say that if you want to write the Bible, you are not supposed to miss God's word with history, history, and and other 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 aspects. I I I, I understand, but listen, history, H- histories are made by by human, and humans, we don't live long enough to write down those histories. Yes. So, yes. who do you think wrote that history? Because if, if if you if you were the one who wrote it, you you were not there. So how did you see it? Yeah, like My like when he was talking it. about um when uh, Muhammad yeah. was yeah. answering, like I was like in my mind, how do you know? Like, so it was like he was buttons. What was he there? How did you know? Uh, like how did you? Know? But That's it was issue. written though. Not it was written Quran. down uh-huh. in other books. Are you listening? I'm, I'm listening. In other books, not in the Holy Bible, their their Holy their Quran, not in the Quran. It's in other books. Listen, and yours, everything is in the Bible. Of course, so it's the word of God because it it wasn't written by man. It was written by man through God. How can you tell me so, the word of God? I do. I feel. I feel God. I feel God allowed everything to happen. I like this case. Listen, continue, listen. Continue. <laughs> I, I don't know who, 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 who wrote the Quran. But listen, the Bible itself says the Bible was written by man through uh, by God through man. Through man. Yeah. Okay. Do you know the meaning of Bible, the name Bible itself? What does it mean? It's a Greek word and it means book. A uh-huh. book. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. That's why they call it. Hey, it was, <laughs> was, was, was. <laughs> Hey, something is holy. A scholar. Yeah, I was scholar. Let's go. They're trying to tell me that uh-huh. uh, history is holy. We have. Uh, oh, oh, of course, it's yes. holy. It's like, oh, yes. some histories are holy. See, like the history of uh, uh, Moses. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like that. It's holy because you can read it and like you'll be changed. <laughs> like, your life you, you we have the holy aspect. Like that. Mm. We have the holy aspect. I understand that. I understand that. But you can't tell me that because of Sodom and Gomorrah, because they were sinning. Mm-hmm. It, it's not holy. God punished them. Mm-hmm. That's the holy thing about it. Yes. And he all of them died except Lot and, and, and his children. Listen, and Lot is Lot alive now. No. She it's, tends to have a lot of sorts. Abraham alive now. She's so how dead. how did we get to know that story? Who, who? who saw that pillar of salt? It's there right now. And so good is there. Good is there. Yes, good is there. Is there? Is there? Everything is so good. That, that's the question I was waiting for. Who saw that pillar? That pillar. So if 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 you had seen that pillar, what would you think? Would you know that it's from Sodom and Gomorrah? Yes. Would you know? Okay. You, you, you wouldn't because know. the man knew when oh, he. What you're saying. No, 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 no. Right. You are saying it's a vision. Do you know that I can, I can hear quietly and, and come up with anything from my mind and tell you that it's. it's, it's you, you know that. You know that the Bible is actually backed up with facts. There are a lot of. God will never speak to you, eh? Don't worry. You are not going to speak to God can speak to anybody. But like. I feel the Bible is backed up with facts. Like after hey, after what? the Bible was written, uh, mm-hmm. there are some things about the Bible that scientists actually find out. Mm-hmm. And they like their salt. Yes. A pillar of salt. Listen, mm. listen. Also, lost my, life. My, my my point is, let's say you haven't heard about the story of Sodom and Gomorrah before, mm-hmm. and let's say you went to Israel. 
mm-hmm. and you said the pillow of salt. What would, would we think? What mm-hmm. is this? Nice question, answer. <laughs> would you know that it is from the story of Solomon Gomra? You, mm-hmm. you, you only know if you are if you have heard that story before, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, where did you hear that? Where, where did you hear that story? From, from the Bible, Bible. Yes. which was written by God through man. man. You don't understand. Fly. Guys, please leave your comments in the comment <laughs> section. <laughs> I know <laughs> a lot of you we are talking about. <laughs> hey. All good. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hey, straight, straight in. <laughs> we'll see you later, guys. <laughs>